Hey there, Bearwood Brown on the right hand side of the Toyota doing the front disc brakes. Now, I've taken out the uh, the top bolt. There's the top bolts there and there's another one down there. Now, once you take it apart, this is a little bit of rubber. Squish that in there. It'll just make it easier to get the caliper off. And that just wiggles off. Just wiggle it off. Okay. Now, set it up here on the top gently so you don't bend anything or break anything. In a minute, we're going to have to squeeze those pistons in a little bit to make room for the new pads. Now, the old pads are right here. They just come right out. They just, just jiggle them out a little bit. You can see almost gone. Now, that one's, you know, I would have, I would have been happy to drive on that one a little bit longer. Um, the inside one it's getting right down to the point there where it's 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 really too close could start doing some damage so now you just take find the right one this one just the same thing just gently put it in there where is it sorry get that one in there Get that one in there. Just work it in there gently. It might need a little tap, but you shouldn't have to give it too hard, otherwise it's crooked. So, just get it in there. Let's see, let's see what happens if I just give it a little tap. Okay, that's in. Now, the, the drum will actually move the disc the disc itself will move so you want to make sure that's in there straight okay take the other one oh they give me they've given me new clips here but they don't look like the right ones okay so this one this one will go on this way on the back side it's kind of hard to film that one but the next step once I get that second pad in is I've got a a clamp here now I'm just going to clamp onto one of those pistons and squeeze it in about a half an inch or so, maybe even more. Then I just take this and gently put it back on onto the onto the brake pads, put the bolts back in, and it's done. Now I could put, if I had some, a little bit of anti-seize grease on here, some copper stuff to make it stop squeaking. If it squeaks. I don't want to know about it. <laughs> but there we go. That's that's what we got to do right now. Squish that one back in. That one back in. There's two of them. Put the other brake pad on the inside. And then we're, we're done with it for, for now. Thanks for watching. I'll show you what happens in a minute.